the finished product. But what is it, and how did we get here? On this episode of Grilling with RVH, we're going to be brining and smoking a brisket flat. But let's get started with the brining process. For the brine, I decided to use orange juice, a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, Chipotle Chili Powder, kosher salt, and some homemade smoked salt. Once you have all of these ingredients gathered together, mix them up in your brining container. You place your brisket in the brine, pour a bag of ice over it to keep it cool. That way you don't have to waste a lot of refrigerator space. Once the brisket has been in your brine for 12 hours or even more, it's time to remove it, rinse it off, and apply the rub. Make sure you rinse it really good. You want to get all the salt off the surface of the brisket itself. Now that all the preparation work is done on this brisket, we're going to put it on the smoker. We've preheated the Rectech pellet grill to 220 degrees. We're going to smoke it seven, eight hours maybe, get it to an internal temperature of uh, 200 degrees on the flat itself, and it'll be so tender you will almost be able to pull it apart. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Okay, this brisket has been on the smoke for a little while now. We're going to spritz it with some apple and orange juice mixture to keep it moist. We will be doing this for the first three to four hours of this cook every 45 minutes or so. That helps it get a little more smoke on the meat itself. Okay, now that the brisket has reached an internal temperature of 200 degrees, we're going to go ahead and pull it off the rec tech, wrap it up in some foil, put it in an ice chest, kind of acts as what's known as a faux cambro. It'll keep it warm, it'll continue to actually cook in there. We're going to cover it up with some old pals, and it will tenderize the meat even further. It's going to be delicious. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks absolutely delicious. Now that we have the brisket in the cooler, wrapped in foil and covered with towels, we're going to let this bad boy sit for a few hours. Alright, she's been sitting for a couple hours now. We're going to go ahead and slice it up and eat her up. See how she tastes. You can see a nice little smoke ring right there on the end. Nothing like slicing into a properly prepared brisket. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you smoke a spicy orange brisket. Mmm, -mm, good. <laughs>